whether you're a research scientist, an engineer, or a first-time science fair student, you should use a lab notebook to document all your science investigations, experiments, and research designs. Keeping a lab book or a journal is vitally important for science research, especially if you are conducting a science investigatory project. Good day, future researchers! Kumusta kayo? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Ting May, ang gagabay sa inyo sa inyong research journey. Para sa mga bago pa lang sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa ating mga new lesson vlogs about research. We are now on our week 2, module 2. And there are two learning competencies in this module, but for today's lesson vlog in Research 2, you must be able to demonstrate the proper data logbook writing. And for today's lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about the project data logbook, which is under the research process. Do you have any idea what a project data logbook is? Do you have your diary at home? Do you know that this project data logbook is somehow similar with the diary that you have at home wherein you write all the things that happens in your life? So in project data logbook, this is just the same with, the, with your diary at home. The only difference is that in project data logbook, this is being used when you are doing a science investigatory project wherein using your project data logbook, you will write here all the things that happens during your experiment. To elaborate further, let us listen to this discussion. A lab notebook is an important part of any research or engineering project. Used properly, your lab notebook contains a detailed and permanent account of every step of your project, from the initial brainstorming to the final data analysis and research report. Many science projects require a number of steps and multiple trials. By recording the steps of your procedure, your observations, and any questions that arise as you go, you create a record of the project that documents exactly what you did and when you did it. With a complete record of the project in your lab notebook, you can look back at your notes later if a question arises or if you decide to pursue a related project based on something you observe. Similarly, Writing down your product design ideas, engineering challenges, and product testing data will help you keep track of all your ideas, what you have already tried, or how well a particular design performed. Logbook is the core of your project. It is a detailed account of every phase of your project from brainstorming about the topics, collecting data, gathering information, and drawing conclusions. Logbook is also a proof that certain activities occurred and documents when they happen. Logbook is also subject to scrutiny by your teachers, judges, science community, and even they are acceptable evidence in a court of law. A science project logbook is a comprehensive account of each step of your project, from initial brainstorming to the final report of your work. The lag book is evidence that some activities occurred at specific times. It is a record, like a journal of your experiment. What should be written in your lag book? There are three things that should be written in your lag book. First, label the front cover of the composition book with the following information. As you can see, Juan de la Cruz, your first name and your last name. Second, Quezon National High School, which is your school. Number three, 143 Labio Street, Gemini, Subdivision, Lucena City, which is your address. The next one, you have the contact number and the last one, your teacher's name. Second, leave your table of contents on the first page blank after all entries have been made. This page will be the last thing you complete for your logbook. 
And the third one, list the remaining logbook pages after the table of contents. Next, what are the logbook sections? First, you have to write the deadline schedule. Please glue this schedule into your logbook page 1. It will help keep you track all the dates that are due. Second, you have the background research. Include all notes made in the media center or online while studying. They will use this information to write the research report. You should also record the source information for the page cited in your works. Do this for all blogs, books, encyclopedias, magazines, or interviews you are using for information. This project includes a total of 5 sources. Number 3 is Project Statement. Write down your research query in a statement form. The entire aim of doing your research and completing your experiment is to state the question. Number 4, Hypothesis. Write down a hypothesis after conducting research on what you think the answer to the research question would be. It is an informed conjecture in the form of a query. The fifth one is the experimental setup, which includes materials and procedures. For the materials, create a comprehensive list of all the materials that you use in the experiment. Be specific, be unique. If you're going to view watering plants, for example, you can mention the exact amount of water you are going to use. And for the procedure, create a step-by-step -step numbered list of all that you will be doing in the experiment. Your procedures and materials should be so detailed that anyone can take your logbook and experiment exactly the same. Next, variables. Include the independent variable, the dependent variable, all constants, and the control if it applies. Number 7. Don't forget to write your data collection. Don't forget to write every entry date. Your detailed observations should be recorded in this section throughout the experiment. This involves gathering information, what you are doing, and what you are seeing, smelling, hearing, and feeling. Next, number 8 is the results. Include photographs, what you took during the experiment, data tables that were generated to organize your results, charts and graphs, and a description of data. Number 9 is the analysis and conclusion. Discuss the results of the experiment using your data. Have your data back your hypothesis? Didn't it support your assumption? How do you understand that? And the last one, don't forget to write your reflection. Next time, what would you do differently? Which part of the experiment should be modified for the procedures to improve? How can you stretch your research? Whether you are a research scientist or a first-time student who will participate in a science investigatory project, it is really important that you have your project science data logbook. Why? Because this science project data logbook will serve as your proof or evidence that you really conducted and performed your science experiment, especially your science investigatory project. That's why it's really important that you keep it when you go and to make sure it's written in your own handwriting and not in a script where it can be changed or copied. Ayan, at hanggang dito na lang muna ang ating part 1 ng ating module 2 which is the research process. And for our next lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about the research forms na kinakailangan when you are conducting a research investigatory project. Uh, stay tuned sa ating channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa ating mga new lesson vlog. Hanggang dito na lamang. Again, this is Teacher Ting May, your research teacher, at kagapay mo sa iyong research journey. Bye!